A goes to point B. Okay, so let me supply increase and shift right. That was the standard step one. Okay, so I'll do a, a bit more detail for part C. So interest rate is still I1, but now we have the money supply exceeded money demand. Okay, in other words, remember, what is money supply? Money supply is C plus D. There's too much deposits in the banks. That's why money supply is large. So in this case, right, step 3. Financial institution, or you call them also banks, they will cut interest rates. Alright, okay, read this carefully. Money is not in our hands. They are in the banks. They are with the financial market. There's a lot of them. So there's too much. They would want to pay lesser. So they will cut interest rates. Okay, so that was your standard step. Sorry, that was step two. Okay, we're still at step two. So step three. If financial institution cut interest rate, it means individuals, they will not buy the new FA. Right? Because the new interest rates drop. So if it applies for new FA, you won't buy at all. But at the same time, they will sell away the existing FA. Because the existing FA, the price will go up. Again, I covered this last week's lecture. So that's why last week's lecture on money demand is very important. Above all that we have discussed about velocity, about interest rate, etc. Okay, so if you sell away, therefore, your money demand will go up, which is here. Okay, so see carefully, this is your money supply. Your money demand starts to increase. Alright, okay? Please don't say interest rate drop, you take out money from the banks. It's not. It's you sell away the FA because this is Keynes money demand function. So if you sell away your FA, you're holding money. So money demand increase until point E. That's your step four. Okay, so I've got a space I'll put here. So step four, right, you adjust until point E. Okay, where your money supply two equals to money demand one. We've got to label. And therefore, interest rate is at I2. So interest rates will drop. money, not only is it inflationary, it actually push interest rates down. It will scare the hell out of banks because banks, if they offer low interest and yet there's inflation, the real interest rate for the banks will become negative. So that's why banks don't like government to print money on. Right? They are very wary. So printing money is not just inflationary, it's not money whose value alone. It will push interest rates downwards, and that's not good. Okay, alright, so when we cover ISLM, this is how it goes. Right, very technical, and you don't have time to wait. You cannot say, oh, I finished chapter 1 consumption theory, then I slowly catch up. You don't have chance already. Okay, so next week, bring along 